was under my own conditions. You know, I was able to do it exactly how I needed to. So honestly, I, th- I think it was a, a good preparation for the, for the race. Yeah. I mean, given the circumstances, I would say a controlled 60 K where you can just mimic exactly what you want to do on race day is probably a better decision than, than jumping in a 60 K or a 50 K to kind of tune up for it. And you obviously had the opportunity to do that. So it makes, makes total sense to me. Um, I want to fill the listeners in a little bit about the background as, uh, we just kind of started talking about your, your rehab from knee injury and we we're talking about Western States. And I know you're on the record saying, uh, very openly that it is a goal of yours to win the Western States 100, as well as ultra trail Mont Blanc, which, um, for followers of the sport, will know that that's, that's no small feat. That's a, uh, it's a legendary feat I'll say. So it's cool that, you know, individuals like yourself are willing to kind of put yourself out there and make that kind of a public focus of yours. And the reason I bring that up is because, uh, you know, last year at the Western States 100, you know, I was spectating and, you know, crewing and pacing and just being a general fan of the sport of that particular event specifically. And I was just thinking like, you know, if I had to pick who's going to win this year, who are the kind of the guys on the short list? And you were definitely one of them. So, um, you were fit heading in. Uh, presumably, you were confident that it was a year that you were going to be able to execute and win the race. Unfortunately, you know, as Western States tends to be, it's a little bit of a coin flip as to what you're actually going to get, especially in those first 30 or so miles in the high country. And this year, or I should say last year, there's a lot of snow up there. And um, you had a, a, a bit of an unfortunate situation that 